This is Gabby. We used her for a little experiment. What we see is all these things in red and the light green and the yellow, that's antibiotic resistance. We used the Legacy Biome Fecal Microbiota Transplant Capsules. And at the end of the 30 days, we got another sample. I'm Dr. Judy Morgan. This is Gabby. Gabby's eight years old. She's an English toy spaniel and we used her for a little experiment. So Gabby is pretty healthy. She has heart disease, but she never has GI issues. She's a great, she's my best eater. She just loves food and she is fed either gently cooked or raw human grade food. Her stools are always beautiful. But we decided we would do a little experiment. We took the VDI GI microbiome panel test kit, got a stool sample and sent it in. So our first one was done at the beginning of August. She was not on any probiotics. Supplements are like heart supplements and that sort of thing. No probiotics, nothing for GI. And so I expected to get a very normal panel back. And actually I did. It says normal flora, no action needed. That's great. But as I look through, so they give you these really nice little graphs on the panel and we're looking for things where we have a lot of distribution. So we've got a lot of bright colors there, which is really great. This is bacteria versus fungal elements. And we don't have as many fungal elements in the stool, in the GI tract as we do as bacterial elements. So that's no big deal. This is her bacterial distribution. So it's kind of all over the place, which is good. And then her fungal elements, you notice it's almost all one species. And and we want to see a little more diversity than that. But again, no real issues. And what they're saying is her fungal species detected are normal and her bacterial species, most of them are normal. One has intermediate concern. So the next page is the one that really kind of made me go, oh my goodness. So on this, they are looking at all the different antibiotics and the different species of bacteria that were found in her GI tract in the bowel. What we see is all these things in red and the light green and the yellow, that's antibiotic resistance. So they found genes for antibiotic resistance in those bacteria. This would be a problem if we needed to treat her, if we got a bacterial overgrowth in the bowel and we've got all these antibiotic resistant bacteria. That was a little shocking to me because she really hasn't taken antibiotics for most of her life. I, I cannot remember ever having her on antibiotics. Then when we look at the bacterial population, population in her sample. You can see it's pretty diverse. This is what's normal. So we're, we're not bad there, but here's our fungal elements and that's what's normal. So you can see we're really weighted heavily on one and we're missing all this diversity that we need in the microbiome. What we did after taking that test, we used the Legacy Biome Fecal Microbiota Transplant Capsules and she got one a day for 30 days. And at the end of the 30 days, we got another sample. And again, it comes back as normal flora, no action needed. But here's where we got our big change. Here's our bacterial population, still nice and diverse. This used to be all blue. Look at this fungal diversity that we have now. An amazing, amazing change. Then when we got to the antibiotic resistance, remember all that red and yellow and light green? It's all gone. The antibiotic resistance is gone. This is an amazing improvement if this dog should get an issue, some sort of illness that caused a bacterial overgrowth in the bowel. Now we know that treatment is going to work and we're gonna have lots of options. So when we look at our little circle, this is our sample with the bacterial population and there's normal. So we've got all that diversity and this is now our sample with the fungal elements and that's normal. Look how much we changed it. So I thought that I had a dog with this great GI tract, 
no issues, no problems, nothing to worry about. So even if you have, we recommend using fecal microbiota transplants very commonly if you're having a lot of GI issues with your dog, if they're having chronic diarrhea, soft stools off and on, mucus or blood in the stool. An FMT can be a great way to help heal that gut and replace what's missing. But what we found in a dog that we would describe as healthy, no GI issues, we actually made a huge change for the better. So really worth doing a test first, see what the diversity is, see if you've got that antibiotic resistance. And if you do, do an FMT for 30 days. It was one capsule a day for 30 days, so easy. And I just threw it in her food, she ate it, no problem. And we got great changes. And now I feel much better about the gut health of this dog. So we know that gut health is responsible for behavior issues. We know it's responsible for allergy issues, inflammatory bowel issues, so many things are are driven by that gut microbiome, we want it to be as healthy as possible. So feed a high quality human grade food, whether it's gently cooked or raw, and test that stool, see what it looks like, and then treat if needed. And this is a simple, simple way to do it.